Welcome to the Fantasy Thinker. I'm Jared Gordimanch, and today we have Reading the Pros, number seven, featuring Janie Wirtz's The Sh uh, Ships of Merior, second book in the uh, Wars of Light and Shadow series. And today I wanted to look at a uh, particularly poignant passage um, that uh, details the relationship of the description of music to indicate rising tension uh, within a scene and how she um, she plays with the description of music to give us um, a, the sense of what's happening in the um, scene itself. So to get right into the scene, I'm just going to I'm going to read it. Hopefully it's going to be up on the screen here and it starts with. Halloran tipped back his chin and opened his throat in song. The words were all nonsense, syllables strung together for their resonance and rhythm. Against the superlative weave of the lyrinth, the counterplay of consonants and vowels sparked like gems in a tapestry. The heart leaped in step for pure wonder. Ladies laced tight in quilted bodices began to sway in their seats like tavern maids. Husbands by their sides whooped and stamped and applauded while the song unreeled in merry measures that had even the mayor's guardsmen tapping weapon butts against in time against the tile. The change came with such masterful subtlety. Medlar alone could name the moment when senseless strings of syllables converge into order and meaning. Carried on exuberant melody, Three stanzas passed before any guest of the mayors noticed the first prick of satire. Another appalled interval before they connected the tales in the balladry to familiar names and faces. Distilled from six months of gleaming rumor, Halloran's art exposed with rib-tearing viciousness the secrets of boudoir and council chamber. Affairs of the heart and affairs of ambition that flaunted the rank lust and incompetence that riddled the channels of city government. So, um, in this passage right here, the bard Halloran, he starts off by playing this, this, um, you know, song that's like a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a bouncy rhythm that, that kind of like gets people involved and tapping their feet along. And, you know, it's just nonsensical syllables that are just rhyming, just a rhyme. And then, uh, then, and then he subtly changes it over so that he can get to the point of his song and start, um, you know, kind of lacing into these, uh, the, his audience, which he doesn't like if you, you know, if you read the chapter before with words and stuff like that. Um, and uh, and and truths that they don't want to hear. Now, how um, Janie portray, portray, per, portrays this for us is um, she starts out with a lot of alliteration, and so you have um, you have stuff like syllables strung, resonance and rhythm, and you got um, the counterplay of consonants, and there's uh, it goes on, you know. Uh, ladies laced and bodices began and you have uh and you also have um words that indicate uh you know um playful music being played the whoops stamped applauded merry measures you know alliteration there and in the the gag the guard's been tapping tapping in time time against the tile uh, and the alliterations, you know, the, the second paragraph goes right into more alliteration with senseless strings of syllables. But, of course, there's a subtle change that the audience doesn't recognize and that his apprentice does. And it's still an exuberant melody, but all of a sudden, the change that the audience doesn't notice is that the... Uh, they suddenly realize that they're the prick of satire and there's appalled interval. So these words, they start getting more, um, more vicious and they start, you know, poking at the audience. And those words also indicate a rising tension in the action of the scene 
for the reader because the readers these words are more strong and they're harsher and so the reader starts getting you know a little more tense as they're reading it because all of a sudden you have um expose words like that and rib tearing and viciousness and secrets and ambition and lust and incompetence you know so these words they uh they kind of raise the blood pressure a little more than the nice weaving that we had before and so that's how the tension in the scene rises for the reader as the tension in the scene rises for the characters who are involved in the scene and so that was just a beautiful way that where it's used the description of music to bring out that tension in the scene and used her the you know use the words of the english language in such a massive a way to portray that tension coming out and so that is uh my little moment of you know uh just something that really stood out to me in that section of the uh of the um of the novel here it's in chapter five you know in uh in ships of merior and uh so i hope you like that little look into reading the prose and um be good to each other thank you <laughs>